Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. So lately I've been watching this channel, it's called Support Court with Judge Vonda B, where she goes through divorce cases, and so far from every video that I've seen, one person is an absolute lunatic, and I thought it would be a great idea to go and react to one of her most viewed videos, and it's titled, What a Karen. So with that said, let's go ahead and watch this. As soon as you subscribe, hit the like button, comment for the algorithm, because that helps out tremendously. So do my best to respond. With that said, let's begin. All rise. Support court with Judge Vanda B is now in session. Judge, this is case number JVB1067, Harper case. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Mrs. Harper, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Uh, well, basically... Oh, uh, wait, see, her name is actually Karen. I don't know why I thought maybe her name was, like, Chloe or Kristen or, like, something, but she's actually Karen. So let's see if she lives up to the, uh, to the Karen stereotype, uh, which is bad, by the way. Shouldn't have any name stereotypes, but, uh, let's see. Let's see what one of them is going to be a little nutty. I am leaving Mr. Harper because... I have reason to believe that he's been involved with other women, and we have two children. We've only been married two years. So you said you have reason to believe. What do you mean by that? Oh, look at his face. That's the face of uh, somebody guilty. You know, uh, you could tell, you see it in his eyes. He's, he's fed up with this. She caught me. <laughs> What do I do? Uh, but on the bright side, he has a very well-trimmed goatee. We're in the pool business. My, hu my husband, soon to be ex-husband, is in the pool business. And, you know, he's going out to these pools after they're finished. I mean, these women are in their, in their bikinis. They're laying out. Why does he need to be over there? He what? How, she must be suspicious of something from the beginning, because I, I gotta say, like, you get that pool serviced every single week, so it makes sense if, uh, you know, maybe he comes back to tinker with something. Now, maybe it's red flag if he's going, you know, all the time to the same house, like, you know, multiple times a week. He brings his binoculars, he brings his sunscreen, his towel, you know, and, and maybe you're like, hey, what's up? And he calls you, hey, honey, you know, I'm staying at the, the house for dinner, I'm just gonna be a little late. But I'm curious what, how she found this out. There's these women, these customers that are texting him, and I mean, it was, I can't even repeat what some of these texts The customers are. that are in the swimsuits? So they're the women of these pools that have been put in, and they're texting him long after the pools have been put in. <laughs> What if he's just a charming guy? What if it's them pursuing him and he's like turning them down? He's like, hey, no. But then again, he, he's no Brad Pitt. <laughs> I mean, he, he must have a sense of humor or like you know, very charismatic, a good attitude. Uh, why, why are they so into him? It, it seems odd, but uh, you know, he, he, maybe he's really good. Maybe he's giving discounts left and right. I don't know. He makes a lot of money. Our business makes a lot of money. But when I leave, I'm not going to have that. So I need to keep the lifestyle that my children and I have had. We, they go to private school and I ha we have a nanny. And so I need to continue that so that their lives aren't disturbed. And we live in a house um, half a million and I need to maintain something similar. Where is half a million dollar house? You're not finding that in Los Angeles. I'm curious where they live. But okay, overall it makes sense. However, my understanding is that you can't divvy up and, and get full custody of the child because the other partner might be into infidelity, might be cheating, whatever that might be. That seems like a no-no. I mean, maybe they have split custody here, but let's see what she says. Private school, do, do you all pay tuition for that? Yeah, yes. Okay. How much is it? If you were to break it down monthly, because I know tuition sometimes isn't a monthly thing. It's about $1,800 a month. Eighteen hundred dollars a month. Where, where, do they, where are they going? They live in a five hundred thousand dollars house, spending eighteen hundred dollars a month on private school, and that's just one kid. What happens when the other kid has to go to private school too? That's thirty six hundred dollars a month, a month for for what school? I, I don't get that. Listen, the best school that that I've ever seen is YouTube. Just sit your kids down in front of the computer, have them do some YouTube searches, watch the main channel, Graham Stephan, learn all about personal finance, and uh, hey, you're set. The two-year-old, right? Well, they're still a baby for $1,800. It's a tuitional, I mean, it's a, you, you grow with the school, so. Does the tuition payment grow too? No, no. Oh, okay. So it stays at $1,800. Yeah. 
Okay. Once okay. they're accepted, they're accepted. Oh, man. Imagine that grows with inflation. Inflation's up 10% the next year. It's like, hey, sorry, now it's $2,000 a month. It's like your rent payment. It just keeps getting hiked every single year. It's kind of surprising they actually lock it in $1,800 a month. They, they must go up at some point. If you were to buy a home, the homes that you were looking at, what are you looking at on mortgage? Um, about 3000 a month. Okay. But again, I mean, I would think he would need to pay the majority of that. Okay. So you want him to buy you a home? You and the children a home? I mean, I would call it spousal support. Well, that's one way to put it. Hey, you know what? I, I want a house. You got to buy it for me. It's just, um, you just got to support me. Uh, no, in, in all seriousness, I, th I think it makes sense. You got to maintain the child's standard of living uh, in, in this sort of case. That way you prevent one person from like living in a mansion. The other one's just, you know, on the streets. Y you can't have that. For the child's sake, for the child's sake, there's got to be some sort of continuity between households. Uh, but in this case, yeah, I don't think she could force him to buy her a house, though. I mean, maybe there could be a payment that she could then use to go and rent a house or do with whatever she wants. But I, I don't think he's going there and like, fronting a full house for. I have been only working part time. And of course, I would not want to keep working in the business with him and these customers who are still coming around. So I would have to find a job. She tried calling the customers to verify like, hey, is my, my husband's uh, coming over there pretty often. Is he, is he doing anything other than servicing the pool? You would think that she'd have a lot of proof at this point uh, because she's the one in charge of all this. Is there anything else you want me to know before I move over to him? Well, just don't believe his excuses about these women. That's all I can say. Oh, she dropped a bomb. She's trying to discredit everything this man says. Whatever he says, it's a lie. Don't believe him. Just believe me. I would almost be suspicious about that because then it makes me think maybe she's the one who's lying. Maybe she's the one who's, who's bringing that up because otherwise it's like, yeah, go hear him out. His story will kind of back up mine. We're kind of on the same page here, but no, when you try to discredit the other person like that, I told you one of them always stands out. So let's, let's see if it's her. It could be him though. One of the things that I do is I go out and I make sure the work's quality work. So I can put my name on it. Um, do I take care of my clients after we put in a pool? Absolutely. Well, your definition of taking care, is it what she's thinking? No. Okay. It's, uh, I'm, I maintain contact with my clients. And they contact me if there's an issue, if they've got questions. He maintains contact. And I just I go out and I see those clients because that tends to give me more referral business. I mean, I get that, but listen, if I had the owner of the pool company calling me up all the time, be like, hey Graham, how's your weekend? What did you do? I'd just be like, no, oh, come on, man, like too much. Just, you know what, all I need is a card, a holiday card, every year, the same time, just, hey, hope, hope your pool is going well, Hope you enjoy it. Thinking of you if, you, if you have any referral business, we'd appreciate it. Anything we could do, let us know. Something like that is great. Just constant contact, maybe an email every now and then. You know what, maybe he's a more face-to-face -face type of person. You respect that. Why are these women saying that, come over, I'm gonna be laying out? They tell me whatever they wanna tell me. That's not, that has nothing to do with- So you go join them while they're laying out? Oh, I love how she's just sipping the coffee. It reminds me of that Kermit meme. She's just sitting back eating the popcorn here. You know what? His ex-wife needs proof, though. I mean, that's the thing. To, to come at him with such an allegation, I'm not saying she's wrong, okay? But if you make that claim, it should be relatively easy to hire a private investigator, to go and follow him to these houses, just collect evidence. If she's going for a divorce. I mean, you, you need that hard evidence. It can't just be, well, he's going to their house, they're sending them these messages. Because he could just say, no, uh, you know, it's part of the business. I got to show up. I'm not responsible for what they say. Uh, so let's see. I saw a picture. One of those texts had a picture of you in the pool. I don't. What were you doing in the pool? You were checking the dip? I don't remember being ever seeing that picture. So now I will say this. <laughs> That's it. Where's the picture? That should be an easy one for her to say, judge, I got the picture here. Here it is printed out. We scanned it. You could see his face. You could see his goatee. That's him in the pool at this date coming from this number. This is his client. Uh, it should be easy to prove. Yeah, Speaking of the sure. nanny, how much do you pay her a month? Uh, we're actually paying her uh, 
probably a little less than what we deserve, but it's probably about $1,200 a month. That's not bad, actually. $1,200 a month for a nanny. I was expecting that. It was going to be like uh, $25,000, $3,000 a month for a nanny. It's not bad. How much money do you make in this pool business? Well, I've, I've been averaging about two eighty dollars okay. a year. But so. it could be higher? It could be. Or it could be lower? It depends on the market. Okay. He's not even being truthful about that. He makes over three hundred. dollars he makes over 300? Okay. Wow. Listen, as the secretary, again, she should have proof of this. She should have a lot of receipts to back this up. If she has the proof of it, then, then this guy is destroyed. Is that true, Mr. Harper? No, that's not true. So where did she get that from? Well, I mean, it's her lifestyle. Um, I mean, she likes going out and with her girlfriends and having her lunches and having her, uh, you know, her spa days and... Um, Therapy sessions. <laughs> That's a that's a great way to think of it, you know. Okay, hey, listen, every everyone needs a bit of a break, especially as a mom, two kids. Uh, what better break than spa day? It's a therapy, ther therapy sessions. Uh, it's the hot tub. Uh, th that's therapy. Listen, in all seriousness, though, a good hot tub session or like you know a steam shower could do wonders. Just the cost of that alone could be cheaper than a therapist. Now, a therapist still has their place, but uh, I'm just saying. Good relaxation, I think, goes a long way. You sure it's not what your imagination is putting you through? I imagine because he, he said you are imagining all of these. I imagine he was a good guy too. A couple of years ago, when I said I do. Oh man, she's coming at it swinging! What a comeback! That's great. She deserves a medal for that one. She's got a pretty cozy lifestyle. Um, we've got a nice house. Uh, I'd like to keep the kid. I'd, I'd like to keep the kids you know, with me no. uh, and, and, and make sure they're taken care of because she's too busy taking care of herself. Again, he should have receipts of this. All of this stuff to me is not just like he said this, she said this, all of this stuff is provable. If he says that about her, he should have receipts of every spa day, of every lunch, dinner, all of this stuff, and she should have evidence of him cheating. So I think it goes both ways. Ms. Harper, um, I have a couple of questions for you. What is your educational background, if any? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm very proud to say that I got my GED. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's the silence that gets me there. It's like, I got my GED and I did this, or I went on to do this, and I worked here. Uh, the silence it doesn't follow it up with anything, but okay. It's not always during the day. He's not I'm home not there. a lot I'm at not night. at women's houses every night or anything like but that. But some nights, huh? No, not, not even some nights. It, it, occasionally, it happens. And their family is there as well. So your customers call you at night for pool maintenance? No, they'll call me at night. Is that what you're telling to, me here today? No, they'll call me at night to ask me questions about referrals, about maintaining the pool, things like that. At Usually, night. That's kind of a funny time to call people. Reminds me of that, that insurance commercial where it's like, who are you talking to? Jake from State Farm. All right, Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing? And he's like, khakis? <laughs> Reminds me of this guy. It's just, he's, he's the Jake from State Farm. How late are we talking at night? Oh, nine, eight, nine o'clock. Okay. That's not too, too late. It makes no sense. I mean, a wholesome family. Well, I agree family. with that. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, a wholesome family. I mean. Is there a good time really to call your pool guy? I, I'm just saying, like maybe a weekend in the afternoon or like morning. But you got to think about it. Like, like if an average person is working during the week, Monday through Friday, you're going to call your pool guy at like 7 a.m. before work? Probably not. Maybe your lunch break. But when you get home and you're like, hey, you know, I just thought I haven't talked to my pool guy in a few days. <laughs> Let's go and call him up. See what he's up to. She likes fixed dinner, but yeah. Oh, so you don't cook? Well, I mean, we, we have somebody for that. Oh, so you all have a chef too? Well, we usually have food brought in, you know, either I come home with dinner or pick something up. Or He's found a way to outsource everything from his childcare to his food to his schooling. Just, just anything that this guy needs, someone else is doing it. At this point, they don't even have to be parents. They just hire that out, too. His gross would be based on $12,325.35, which would make his net resources $9,200. Now, sir, are these the only two children you have? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so $9,200. Supposedly. Um, what? Supposedly? Again, it's just like, if, if you're throwing out allegations, come at it with some proof. Be like, hey, I got a DNA test, too. He's got... Four other children, uh, and imagine they all come to court as well, get money from him. 
I'm not going to order him to pay all of that because, ma'am, you will be working and you should be able to maintain something. I'm not going to have him just 100 percent take care of you. Spousal maintenance is to assist. It's not to help you, you know, just. Oh, man, you could tell that was that might have been her plan going into this. It's just like, hey, I'm going to go to therapy sessions all day with with the girls. We're going to go to lunch. And uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm done. Uh, you could tell here. The, with the face, she definitely was expecting for more. Spousal maintenance is going to be in the amount of $4,500. I gave you a credit for that 309 with the um, health insurance. So that brings your monthly obligation for child support and spousal maintenance to $6,800 a month. Uh, kids are expensive. Man, I mean, it goes to show you just uh, how important it is to, to pick the right spouse to hopefully avoid this from happening. That That's a lot of money. He can come back and petition the court and ask for something different. And there's a high likelihood his payment to, of spousal support to you may be removed. So I just want to make sure I'm clear about that. So, so what if it takes me a year to get a job? What? A year? There's a job shortage right now. I mean, it's impossible. You cannot not get a job in a year. If you try now, the one thing maybe holding her back is uh, a lack of work experience if she's been at home taking care of the kids and a GED without any sort of advanced degrees that might might be a little bit more difficult. She could get a job doing something. So she'll have some income, but that could be a bit of an uphill battle. Uh, she should probably just use a few months to do some sort of training, maybe something in the trades. And within a year, you could actually start off with a pretty decent salary. But uh, yeah, if you uh, can't get a job in a year, then I think uh, maybe there are bigger problems. If it takes you years to find a job, that means you are intentionally not actively looking for a job. And if he comes back in here and that is the case, I will surely make sure that he stops paying you spousal maintenance. OK, okay? is yeah. there anything further? No. You have any other questions, sir? No, ma'am. OK, if there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you. You're welcome. See, I told you guys, this channel is a gem. And in terms of my overall thoughts, uh, I think it's pretty fair. I think Judge Fonda be requiring that she works, I think is a good thing because, uh, especially with the nanny involved too, I mean, there should be some supplemental income coming in, uh, at least for the next 18 years. Goes to show you guys, you gotta pick a very good partner. Be sure of who you have children with, and no matter what, subscribe if you haven't done that already. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, feel free to add me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.